Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hacker Stacker channel, and I'm going to show you how to identify fake and genuine coins and rounds using two apps. One is called PingCoin, and the other is Bullion Test. These apps are available for Android devices, but there is a similar app available for Apple. Every common silver coin or round creates, when it is struck properly, a unique set of frequencies. These apps are programmed with those frequencies, so one can easily utilize the app with the microphone in their phone and tablet to check the authenticity of suspect coins. All you need to do is launch the app, find the coin you're looking for from the list, and test it. While holding it near the device, strike it with a wood pencil or a plastic pen, and if the vibrations that the coin or round create matches the known frequencies of the coin, the app will indicate if the coin is genuine or not. And if it doesn't match, it will let you know that you've got a potential fake. Folks, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell to get notifications on new content because it's your support that makes this channel grow. If you have either app installed in your device, you can test them using the ping at the beginning of my videos. That ping I recorded with an American Silver Eagle. Just select that in your app, hold the device up to your computer speaker, and run the test. So I'm first going to demonstrate how to test coins and rounds using a ping coin. Now there are gold coins on this list too, but you can use them for silver as well. So let's choose a maple leaf. All you need to do is hold the maple leaf loosely between your thumb and a finger, not tight so it doesn't slide out, just enough to hold it still. And with a plastic pen like this Sharpie or a wood pencil, you simply tap it. And it tells you if it's authentic or not. To test it again, you reset it, and it tells you that you have an authentic maple leaf. Let's go back and select an eagle. And I know it's in here. There's a one ounce eagle. I'm going to test it. And I have an authentic eagle. And the reason I'm using nitro gloves instead of cotton gloves is because I cannot work the screen on my phone with cotton gloves. Now, if you have a fake coin, it will tell you so. Now, let's start it again. It says it's not recognized. This is a steel. Eagle, by the way, it's made out of steel, and it doesn't recognize it. Let's run the same set of tests in Bullion Test. We'll go up here, we'll select American Silver Eagle, and in this app you have to tell it to turn the microphone on, and if you have a genuine eagle, it will give you a green check mark here in the bottom left. All three, three frequencies match. Tap the coin to do a retest. We can go back and let's choose a maple leaf, turn on the microphone, and it tells me I have a genuine Canadian maple. Now there are some differences in the coins and rounds each app is capable of testing. For instance, while both of them have Morgan and Peace dollars, PingCoin has half dollars and quarters, where Bullion Test does not. Conversely, Bullion Test has some Swedish coins available in their repertoire. However, it does not have the Britannia listed. I'm not sure if you caught this, but PingCoin requires you to work the screen a lot just to test a coin. So to redo another test, let's say I have another eagle I want to test, I've got to touch the screen twice. Bullion test, however, does not require that. It simply says tap coin to redo test. So we're going to test an eagle, and it says it's good. I'm going to pick up this Britannia and test it, and it says it's not good. But without touching the screen and bullion test, I can retest the eagle. That's the one biggest difference I've seen besides the differences in the coins and rounds that is, these two 
apps are able to test. So each app has pros and cons, so it's difficult to choose one over the other. And personally, I use Boolean test when I'm testing several coins because it's quicker not having to deal with constantly touching the screen to retest a coin. But there's no reason not to install both on your device and take advantage of the best of both apps. Now if you do this test enough, you can get comfortable with using either a plastic pen or a wood pencil and test your coins that way. You can get very, very proficient at it. However, there is one device I'm going to suggest that you purchase, and that is called a pocket pinger, and it is made by a company called Sound Money. And it has a set of jaws that you can open up, and you can open it up and slide your coin in between these two pins, and that will securely hold the coin or round, and you want to get it as close to center as you can. And you can do one of three things. You can use your wood pencil or your plastic pen to strike the coin. Or there is an anvil here on the inside of one jaw to where you can take your coin and just flip it right on the device. As well as when you purchase one of these, they include what they call a stack stick. This is just a piece of wood dowel that you can use to ping the coin with. This is not a sponsorship from Sound Money. However, this is a tool that I really suggest that you put in your arsenal because you can see that it is very, very small and you can take this anywhere you go. And with your, since you're already carrying the phone, you got the apps on there, you can easily walk up to a coin and say, I want to test it. And if they agree to it, you can, there you go. That's all there is to it. Now, I'll put a link to, in the description on where you can get the Sound Money Pocket Pinger. It is not a sponsorship here. I'm simply recommending this because this and these two apps are a couple of things that you really need to add to your toolbox so you don't get stuck paying for fakes. So keep on stacking, and I'll see you in the next video.